according to Microsoft, using custom delegate types is not recommended by them. So, in this case, you can use func delegate and the action delegate. So, they are built into the C-sharp framework, and you can use those built-in func and action delegates instead of creating custom delegates yourself. So, it's kind of a faster, and it is recommended by Microsoft, so it is good. So, let's get started with it. Okay, now the first thing that we're going to talk about is the non-generic action delegate. So to get started, I'm going to create a new function, public static void do something, which has action in it as action. So this is going to invoke action again, and so to do something with this method, you have to call do something, and you have to input the function public static void. Uh, function CW which means hello world and I'm gonna input this function name so what that does is it inputs the function action into this do something method using its parameter right here so action is something like this it has a return type of void and it has no parameters because this is non-generic version of the action so if you want the generics you have to include the system.collections.generic namespace right here and then you can use any kind of uh, an input for this so like this it has a function string x and it, this is gonna print x and this does not match I know that so add string as it is in generics so I'm going to explain this in another tutorial about generics. So anyway, this is going to do something like this and string input and this is going to call invoke the action with an input. So and hello world. So this is going to do the same thing that it did as the previous version. So it has a simple thing that it is it has two par one parameter right now which is a string and this do something it has two parameters because first thing is the action and the second thing is the input so we can still use lambda expression for this thing like this like this and we don't have we have to use any kind of a uh, externally called method so this is just an anonymous way of doing this so anyway this is action so a function is a little bit of different is that it does not have a non-generic version in it because it is it must return some kind of uh, non-void type such as string so we're gonna create a simple method that is checking strings and returning true if the checks are true, the checks are returning true. So we're gonna specify a method like this public static uh, void check, and this is gonna have a function of input string and output bool. So the first arguments are the inputs, and the last argument of the generic type is gonna be the output version so as you can see you can have up to 16 inputs and only one output because C sharp supports only one returning type so anyway this is a string bool function and this is gonna have string input so the next thing is the so now I'm gonna call this function with input and this is going to return a, a boolean right now so I'm going to create a new check public static bool check up one and this check up one is going to contain a string so the string is going to be input and if input dot no, let's do this simply if return input dot length is greater than 10 so I think it will work right now so and I 
add another checkup right now that is going to be calling checkup2 and that's the exact opposite of this so I'm going to check with the function checkup1 and of input hello world this is going to return false by the way and the next thing is this and this is going to be working with checkup2 and this is going to be true right now let's see yes that's working because this is returning true or false based on the method that is being passed to this check function so this is how you can use function action and uh, the expression expression no function and action without using custom delegate types because function and action are really faster and they are the recommended ways of using delegates in c -sharp by microsoft so thanks for watching guys see you guys in the next video